with uniforms. I've got um, I'm really lucky uniforms you can either do as traditional uniform or you can throw your leather twist where a lot of the leather people they're only really constricted to leather and leather and only talking about being equals about classes and all that when my partner and I go out if we want to be equals firemen a very quick and easy uniform to show that my partner and I are on equal terms for the evening um, always remembering to accessorize correctly if you're going to do uniforms one thing about uniforms and about leather is it's exactly like being a drag queen but we just do it in a male version so every leather man that's and, and a lot of leather people will agree with that I normally don't wear peak hats peak hats represent tops but being a boy scout and normally when you accessorize with being a boy scout you have your your tent can I just ask something so when you are the boy scout do you actually have to take the tent out and all that with you if I want to do it properly yes I will okay I will because it's like fashion a lot of men queens will wear tight fitting clothes and all that and they'll be very uncomfortable but for fashion you do it also you have formal uniforms which um, a formal uniform which is considered as your security I don't know if you can get a you need to get a close-up of my shoulder because it actually tells you what I'm into. These are my vacations. I'm into outdoor sex. I'm into expeditions. I like a long time, not a short time. I'll service anything environmentally friendly when we do it. I know first aid just in case we do get in trouble. Only someone that's an Australian citizen and that's my lifestyle. Then. I have my leathers. My partner has a red mount Mounties jacket in the same colour leather, which is also our like our engagement rings, even though they're not the same shirts, they come from different countries. This is American, his is a Canadian one. It's the colour that means that we're together and all that, so that's really good. And just, it's, once again, I have all the token pieces of leather that any good leather boy should have, vest, trousers, do you ever wear the uniforms during sex? Um, the main reason why you wear uniforms is for, the, for sexual role play. So how much would you get undressed in your uniform to actually get to have sex? All depends what, all depends what type of scene you're doing. Um, some scenes I, um, I actually pre-rip underwear and all that. I'm like a builder coming with my tool belt on, which is, which is normally Tool belts used for two idea for a sexual construction worker where I have videotapes and different things. Or if I want to go out as a proper construction worker, you got all your little tools and all that that you should have. And then your tools also come as toys. Um, there's your nipple clamps for the night. So you t whatever's in your tool belt, you use, um, I'll only let your mind wonder what that one's used for. Well, there's a good pain, bad pain divide. Good pain is pain that you A, accept, B, want, and C, process as pleasure. They all tie them up, fasten them somehow or other, and, you know, very gently say, Bam. this is simple bondage. It's basically meant to make you accessible to me. 
and then I'll sort of take them by the neck and go, and this is domination. Occasionally we have to shave our patients, so we use the old-fashioned way. And, uh, don't move. We wouldn't want to have a nasty accident. Do you definitely get a closer shave with those? Definitely do, yeah. We get a lot of compliance about not moving too. Particularly when they're tied down. <laughs> they get very careful, they hold their breath.